This video, I'm going to be showing you how to remove the background of your video using the Magic Mask tool in Fusion DaVinci Resolve 18. So with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So if you guys are new to my channel, I actually made a video about a year ago explaining how to remove the background of your video using the magic mask tool but in that video i show you guys how to do it but in the color page recently i've been using the fusion tab because i think it's just better and it's a little bit more tedious and straight to the process compared to the color page i still use it here and there when the video quality is hd 4k but if it's not, I think Fusion does a better job. So for this example, I'm going to be showing you guys a man jogging. And let's click on the duration. And for just this example, we are going to cut it down to three seconds. Our main objective is to remove the background and just to have this man uh, in the screen. So if we click on our uh, Fusion page right here screen of course yours might look like something like this but i don't really use the left side as much so i just don't even have it on median one what we are going to do is click on ship space and search for the magic mask and it should end with the m a g m and click on add now right here we have our inspector tab we have our tracking mat settings and all of that good stuff what we want to do is click on add and just trace over our image make sure to get your person or object as uh with with the lines as much as you can just for a better results say we don't want this area we could click on subtract and just take out any parts that you don't want now what i recommend every time you track something click on track forward then reverse i assure it's just more convenient and you don't have to track it later when you really need to so what we want to do is click on track forward then reverse this is going to track anything that's in the right hand side and anything that's in the left hand side depending on how long your clip and how complicated your clip is this could take a couple of seconds or even a couple of minutes and while we are waiting make sure to check out my new instagram that's where i'm going to be posting most of my content for video editing it's like a mini portfolio so if you guys want to check it out i highly recommend it if you guys want to do a chat a one-on-one -on -one or a call or any questions most of the times i can really look at the comments because i'm, I'm not really on the youtube studio app as much as i am in my instagram so if you want any questions feel free reach out i'm going to be leaving it down in the description or in the screen right here now the good thing about this uh, fusion is if we go to match right here we could actually zoom in a little bit more and we could add some blur to our image if we need to of course you could go ahead and mess with all these uh, settings we could use like the feather gamma we could lower it increase it restore fringe we could do so much things solid mat garbage mat and all that good stuff now when you are done you could click on your timeline and of course it's going to be kind of laggy but you will have your end results a really quick tip if you want to remove the background of your screen like this like you don't want the black um and you want to render it i would highly recommend click on render in place which is somewhere up here on format quicktime codec gopro cineform type rgb 16 and just click on render just located where you usually locate your items and you by rendering the playback is going to be smooth you are not going to miss any of the quality if you think you are going to miss any quality what you could do is render in place and when you are ready to export it you could just go ahead and decompose it to the original but now that we have our clip we could go ahead and add the background this is our um transparent background and this is the background that it has and we could just add a couple of blur and as you can see we are all good the reason why removing the background is so important is because you could add like so many stuff that at the end of the day it doesn't get into the way so an example would, would be like this all right it looks pretty sick i'm not even gonna lie so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys did don't forget to please subscribe and hit the like button and see you guys later. Take this, guys.